Alright, I'm going to take just a minute to talk about the pin usage chart for Megasquirt 2. Uh, this is on the Megasquirt 2 Extra, msextra.com website. Uh, it's the hardware manual, so it took me a little while to find this because I wasn't really searching for pin usage. I searched pin out and some stuff like that, uh, looking what was it, trying to look for what was working out to the DB37, but of course you got to break them out yourself, I found out later. So um, Here is the uh, way at the bottom is the pin usage chart for Megasquirt 2. So um, it's been really helpful having all this in one place. It took me a little while to kind of get a handle on what was going on with it, but uh, this this chart really works out well. So these top four are going to be the idle air control valve. <clears throat> I have realized I need to use those um, through some strange feat of stupidity. Basically, I was thinking I had the other type. So uh, this is going to be the stepper style or the GM idle air control valve. So that's going to eat up all four of these pins. Uh, really it's only eating two outputs because these uh, 2A and 2B for instance have to be inverse of each other anyway if you're not going to be using them as an idle air control so you don't really benefit from those extra two pins. Uh, but basically I do lose one that I was already using for boost control. So I'm going to move boost control down to uh, JS11 uh, those top four are gone, uh, so I got two analogs here, JS4 and JS5. So that's going to do basically your analog stuff, um, <clears throat> or A to D pin, analog to digital pin. Uh, so it's going to convert that into a number. Uh, it can be used as a digital input if you want, um, but typically you'd probably use this for a second O2 sensor if you had dual exhaust and didn't want to just have one. Maybe you want to tune the bank separately. Um, you use it for knock input, either digital or analog, um, <clears throat> tack output, and some other generic outputs work as well, spark and stuff. So uh, those two pins are good for that. These are the two modified pins that you have to uh, make a slight hardware modification. MS2, it looks like, I think it's down here, it looks like this. So um, I've already done that to my board. That's the surface mount one for table switch. So um, <clears throat> the table switch input's kind of weird. It's in green here. <coughs> uh, it's only set up on that one. If you look at the software, uh, you've basically got to pick either a software option here to switch tables. A lot of people do boost. Uh, so when they get into boost, they get a whole new table for additional resolution. Uh, you can do RPM or TPS. Hardware is what we want, or what I want, to be able to switch tables manually with a switch. Um, local being uh, this pen here, I believe. I haven't tried it yet, but I believe that's what it is. Um, remote would be CanIO, which I'm not going to put on right now. But if you have CanIO or IO, or maybe you wanted to use CanBus IO, you could do that. And so uh, back to this table got a second trigger input option here which actually I need to find out if I'm going to have to use that or not so I'm going to kind of reserve that one um, although here you can use uh, I've got Spark A and Spark B those two this is a, both LEDs actually um, and then Spark C is also set up uh, as an LED but I'm, I'm not going to be using that one so I think I have that one spare still I'm not really sure but F idle, I'm not going to be using the F idle, that would be a two wire PWM idle air control valve. Uh, I did put in the transistor already, kind of by mistake, so uh, I'll have a nice high current, relatively high current output for uh, flipping a big solenoid or a relay or anything I need like that, or maybe running a, a pump or a relay to a like an alcohol injection pump or something like that. So um, use it as a basically a NOS relay, but for, for alcohol or some, something to that effect. Um, so that pretty much covers the table. Uh, you just want to make sure that uh, when you uh, allocate an input or an output, just check that it doesn't conflict with any of the other stuff you want to do, uh, like TAC output. I think I'm going to run my stock ECU for a while, so I'm not too worried about that one right now. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it for the MS2. If you run out of pins, uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you run out of pins, you may want to go for a uh, Mega Squirt 3 instead with the uh, Mega Squirt. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> Mega Squirt 3. <coughs>